Hi everybody, Nels Heiberg once again with another box to unbox. And this one, I, I know I always start each video saying I'm really excited, but this one I'm so excited that it arrived today and I had some errands to run, but now that I'm back, I've gotten everything done, I am going to open it because I have to see it now. And you can see Doki Doki Crate the box that I get from Japan. And yes, it is a box of Japanese kawaii goods, but it is actually from Japan. I love the look of the Japanese customs declaration sticker that's on every box. So not only you know, does the pink tell me it's going to be nice and kawaii, but this tells me this is authentic Japanese. Um, even if some things are made in under other countries, still, it is sent from Japan. This is going to be the second time I've opened a Doki Doki box um, in a video. And what I like about this, in addition to just the fact that it's Japanese and kawaii, which that's enough right there, they ship this at the beginning of every month. But because for me, it's shipping from Japan all the way to Connecticut, um, really probably got about halfway around the world or so, it takes a couple of weeks. So this arrived today, which is Monday, May 15th. And it took a couple of weeks for it to arrive, which is pretty typical. It tends to arrive around mid-month. But um, I just had to, like I said, had to come up here and get the computer set up so I could record this. Just a little bit of background. Japan Crate makes the crates, um, makes the boxes. So Doki Doki is the kawaii box. And I know they have some boxes with Japanese foods and things like that. So if you're, whatever you're into, they have some options. I love kawaii. I just, I just love it just because it's fun, it's cute, it's, you know, it's, it's kawaii. So when I first saw this, I had to get it. This might actually be my fourth box, I think. No, I think, yeah, I was going to say my fifth. This is probably the fourth box I've gotten from them, and I love it. I do use some of the things that are in here, some of the stuff I just put out on display in different places, um, but it's just a fun box to open. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. So let me see if there's there anything else in terms of background that I want to mention. Down below in the description, as usual, the URL. Um, it's usually filled with, like I said, kawaii goods, plushies, charms, clips, paper, pens, just fun, cute things from Japan. And I should say up front, um, yes, I know Hello Kitty. I'm a huge fan of Sumiko Garashi. There are a lot of other kawaii styles I don't know, and I don't know how to pronounce, so if I mispronounce them, no res um, disrespect at all, feel free in the comments to tell me, no, this is what this sounds like, and yeah, I, you know, I'm glad to know those things, because I'm learning about new creatures and things like that as we go about. Um, the back of the box, I should say, we love you, and arigato gozaimasu, Japan crate, doki doki crate. Um, that's thank you very much in Japanese. One of the phrases I used the most when I was there. So let's see what we have. Okay. And it's probably wrapped up in tissue paper, but... Ooh, lots of color already. I can see. Okay. Every month there is the Doki Doki um, booklet that arrives. You can see this is number 18. Um, I've... I didn't know what that meant at first when I first got them, but this is the 18th box that they've created, I think. You can see it is the May 2017 box. Again, this is from Japan, so when you get this, don't be surprised that you have to read it, what we Americans would call backwards. But this will tell you what's in it, and it's a little booklet that gives you some stories and pictures and things like that. I'm not going to look at this yet. I want to be surprised by this. And you've seen it. I haven't. You can see I'm blocking my eyes because I just want to be surprised. Um, oh, yes, because it's all so cute. It's kawaii. We have a cute, I'm going to say cute constantly, so deal with it, but a little charm. A nice little, is this rubber? Yes. Uh, I don't know if it what it represents, but it looks like um, a little teardrop, water drop, or something on a fish. And so, like I said, a charm that I can put in different things. Where do I begin? We have, oh, I was gonna say a, a plushie, but no, another coin case. Got one of these last um, last month and a plastic one that I do actually have in my bag now that I use. Here's a plushie one, shape of a cat, but it is a coin purse. 
bright green so you can see what you have inside, a chain to clip it to something. I Again, I don't know if this is from something, the label entirely in Japanese, so I can't see if this, this little creature has a name, but definitely a cute plushy coin purse. Then we have, okay, another one. This looks familiar, the hamburger. Um, Petit Lapin. I think I, I think that sounds familiar. The back, Petit Lapin. Oh, this lovable bunny who loves French culture is back. Okay, so we have a bunny who loves French, cult French culture. I thought this was going to be a hamburger, but now that I see the top, maybe it's some kind of some kind of French pastry baked good that the um, the creature, the petite lupin, le petit lupin, has wanted to crawl into. So we have this plushie. Um, I do actually have a, a box downstairs where I have all the plushies and um, all gathered together. And so this will this will be cute to add to the box. Sensing a cat theme, if this is a cat. Um, I don't know French. Spanish is the language that I mostly know, other than a few Japanese phrases. So I don't know what this if this means cat. I mean, I know small. Um, lupin, I would think. Oh, la, la pin. So la, la pin. Um, say lupin, I know somehow maybe um, wolf related. But we have this little, little plushy creature in some kind of French pastry. We have... Okay. Is it... Oh my God, is this a hat? Is this going to be a little beret? Oh, where do I open this? Okay, I can't see if there's a spot to... I can't see where to open it. Ah, oh, here we go. There we go, there's something. Okay, this has got to be a beret. They've never had... The description says that they sometimes have wearables, so they'll have, you know, t-shirts and things like that, and I had to give my size, which I have to be honest, I was wondering, are they even going to have my size? And I've never gotten a shirt. But this, this is looking cute. Surprise, surprise. We have some little horns. Okay. Again, can't quite see the description, though it does say product of Japan. Okay. Ah. I'm betting the cardboard is to take out. Okay, got to try this. Which way is front? I'm not quite sure which way is front. So it's more like do the horns go in or do the, the, the small ones point in or out? Um, actually, it looks the same no matter what. No matter what. All right, then. There's a beret. Okay, this is not the best... Obviously, I will have to experiment. I clearly did not have the computer set up so that way I could show hat wearing, but there it is. All right, that's fun. I don't know. Will I wear it? Will I use it? Somehow, some way, it will be perfect. Then there is a water bottle. Oh, no, not a water bottle. It's a soap dispenser or something like that. Um, as you can see, blue with the push down on there so we can fill it up with soap, pan soap, I imagine, and things like that. So, okay, that'll be fun. Now there's a guest bath conversation starter. I know most people who probably get the kawaii box are children, uh, young adults who probably don't have things like guest bathrooms, but I do. And I think okay, this would be a conversation starter, especially with some other things I have in there from different travels. So, okay, that's fine. Is it cute? Yes. Then, always fun for me, a sheet of stickers. So these look like some kind of cats. Um, lots of different cats, lots of different expressions. Let's see if I can get it to where you can see some of these things. Again, cuteness abounds. Tissue paper to hold it. And then the great box, which I sometimes use to store things. Okay, this is funny seeing the beret. So yes, it is cute. Um, what the little booklet says we have going on, we have kawaii critters. Um, May's theme is kawaii critters of all sorts. Everyone has a favorite animal after all. Find one in our extra cute crate this month. So that's why we have kawaii critters. Let me see if I can see what some of the things are. 
Um, a Children's Day Hopichan. And I'm going to show that. You can see that's the... Where did I put that little charm? That's the, the little charm that we received. Um, koi fish symbolize courage and strength because of their ability to swim up a waterfall. And so Children's Day celebrates the happiness and growth of children. A cartoon I shall read later. And then, okay, here we are with a description of the kawaii critters. All right, so we have an antler beret, um, peach deer. Uh, deer are the most iconic Japanese animals and roam free in the city of Nara. And I know that. I should actually put a link in my photos because I have photos from when I was in Nara and the deer were just walking everywhere, um, walking up to people and eating the paper out of their hands. I mean, people are holding maps. And um, so, yes, I do know that the deer, um, the deer won, run free and are everywhere. So okay, this would have been fun to wear when I was there. Um, aggressive Retsuko stickers. Not sure about the aggressive part, but... Aggressive cut, um, Retsuko meets San Sanrio's, San yeah, Sanrio's newest character, Aggressive Retsuko. So a new character that they're introducing. All right. The charm was the Children's Day, Hopi-chan, May 5th this Children's Day. And so, um, ah, the fish. What did I do with that? Oh, there here we go. The fish on the bottom is a koi fish. So, okay, that makes sense. Koi fish with the little... Um, drop it on there in the charm um, to celebrate hitching a ride on a koi fish as you go upstream. The Sumiko Garashi Doremon Shampoo Bottle. Ironically, it looks like I did not get Sumiko Garashi, though I'm a fan. That's fine. This is to introduce me to new stuff. So this is a shampoo dispenser. So something to put in the bath. Okay. Um, Sumiko Garashi... Do Doraemon shampoo bottle, penguin or cat, which is your favorite? Penguins, Sumiko Garashi. But I should say, doesn't penguin have a question mark after its name? Like it's not penguin, it's penguin. But anyway, so we have the, we have that. Um, let me see the end of one of the furthest corners. Then this is a time traveling robotic cat who is one of Jap Japan's most beloved characters. Get one or the other as an adorable shampoo bottle shaped just like them. So, time traveling cat. Because I guess everybody in every time period could use shampoo. Um, I'm probably, if we sent this back about 500 years, it'd get used pretty fast. Then we have the um, Higimanju Gamaguchi coin purse. That was this. Um, Higima... Haiga manju, which means whiskered manju, a steamed bun. Um, okay, I can see the steamed bun kind of look with the cat face on it. Um, the product description for Amuse's fluffy cat characters, adorable coin purse purses. And then last but not least, yes, the uh, Soon Hoseki plush Eclair Petit Lapin. So this is supposed to be an eclair. Whoops, upside down. All right, so there we have it. That explains. Okay, that makes perfect sense now. I can see the, the top has that eclair design. Um, it's back, but this time he's an eclair. This bunny loves French culture and whatever um, and wherever eats his favorite French pastry. So he magically tran he magically transforms into the food. So that is what we have here. See, that's a lot of products. That's why I like these boxes, because you really do get a lot, and it's all a nice surprise. Uh, so there's a, um, a bigger box that just shows how there's always a drawing each month for a winner. Haven't gotten one yet. More of a description of Petit Lapin. I'm probably going to keep saying Lupin. I'm, I'm going to have to get out of that. Then the Plush Pals Doki Doki Selfie Contest. So I may have to take some selfies with this and um, check out Instagram or whatever. And then that just the hashtag and things like that. So this is what we have this month in the Kawaii Doki Doki Crate. And typical, lots of good stuff. Um, this is... This is fun. This is exactly what I get the Kawaii Crate for. Just some fun plushies, fun things to play with. Bright pink box from Japan each month. Um, always a surprise because it's sent, you know, I, I get the tracking notice and I never look because I want to be surprised. So it just pops up in the middle of the month when I'm not expecting. 
and I get all of these things. So arigato gozaimasu to Japan Crate for a great product. And until the next box arrives, I'm Nels Heiberg. I'm going to start playing.